Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigeli. A necklace from soda cans is today's topic. Why are you laughing? And this is how it looks up close. We will use our soda can strip cutter to make these strips from soda cans to produce the necklace. But here are the details. First, we are going to remove the ink from the soda cans. I was the first one showing this procedure in the internet in 2016. If you haven't seen it so far, just follow the link in the upper right corner. Then we are going to use our strip cutter to make very long aluminium strips from our soda can. If you have missed this episode, the same thing, just follow the link in the upper right corner. As you can see, I'm not using the same tools as in the video about the strip cutter. I made some new 3D printed parts. If there is enough interest in these 3D printed parts, how to make a strip cutter for soda cans, I could make another video. Just write it in the comment section if I should do so. So now that we have produced a new roll, we are ready to make a necklace. What we need now is a aluminum rod where we wrap the strap around. Here you already see a final product that was released from the rod. If you bend it between your fingers, it's like a rubber band. Really amazing if you think of the rigid soda can. Saw a slit in the aluminum rod and then bend the start of the strip in this slit. Then turn the rod around to wind the aluminum strip around. Always leave some space uh, when turning around and then after two rounds or so you push them together with your thumb. The upper end then is also fixed in the slit. The second strip is folded crosswise to the first one. Continue wrapping the aluminum strip around the rod until you reach the upper end. The next step now is to place the rod with the aluminum strip in the oven. After around half an hour at 200 degrees Celsius, the aluminum strip keep their permanent position. Cool down the rod by holding it under cold water. Dry the rod with a towel and now remove the ends from the slit. Carefully push back the aluminum strips from the rod to release the necklace. The flexibility is really fascinating when you think that this piece comes from a rigid soda can. Et voila! Entire chain released from the rod. Here you see the two bands, the inner one with the ink still on it and the outer one with the ink removed. And here I would like to show it to you again, completely flexible. Now we come to the last step, how to fix the clasp on the necklace. To demonstrate how these magnetic connectors work, I have here an example. 
Grab both ends with your fingers and then tear it apart. As the aluminum strips from the chain are quite fragile, we need to reinforce them. Therefore, we take a piece of silicone tubing that we glue with super glue between the end of the chain and the clasp. In this way, you really can grab the aluminum strip without uh, physically damaging it. And in this way, you can tear the clasp apart. I used some super glue to fix the silicone tubing and the clasp. Remove excessive super glue on paper and then make the final connection. With the use of an already existing necklace, we choose the correct length. You can easily shorten the chain with scissors. Just to demonstrate, you see here the two uh, strips in the spiral form within each other. For the second clasp, the process is the same, just use super glue to fix the components on the chain. Just a small tip here, always verify the correct side of the second clasp before fixing it on the chain. If you do it on the wrong side, everything is lost. And this is already the final product. And if you liked that video how to make a necklace from soda cans, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and check out all my other videos. Stay creative and so long!